Sources are telling headlines today that two of the arrested terrorists were engineering students at the Rajasthan University, also adding that the arrests were made without any resistance. The students were living in a rented accommodation and were woken up and taken into custody. Sources further say that the Rajasthan police are still on the hunt for one more suspect who is said to have escaped. We have Vikas Mishra joining us live from Mumbai. Vikas, what are the details you have with you about these other terrorists that we're talking about? Uh, there are uh, there are other two uh, uh, people who were the engineering students who were like yes. woken up when they were sleeping and they were uh, and Vakas who has been the technical expert of uh, Indian Mujahideen uh, was uh, what what we are learning from sources hired these guys and uh, to, to, uh, took these guys into the module of Indian Mujahideen because uh, uh, due to arrest of Yasin Bhatkal and Hadi earlier uh, in 2013 by NIA uh, the whole Indian Mujahideen module in India was very weak so he was hiring new recruits and these two engineering students who were being arrested uh, by Rajasthan police were part of this. Uh, New module and why is the uh, uh, arrest of uh, uh, Vakas is very important because he is being named in several uh, bomb blasts, which is Varanasi bomb blast, Mumbai serial bomb blast, and Pune, Pune bomb blast. The two engineering students who were in fact in a university in Rajasthan. Exactly. What I was saying is that these two uh, students, what we are learning from the sources, that were part of the new model which was formed by Vakas here. And it, it being election season, there's a possibility that Vakas was uh, planning something big uh, during uh, this election season. Uh, it could be targeted, uh, the, the Congress leaders could be targeted, BJP leaders could be targeted. Uh, what the sources are saying that it will be uh, it will be revealed after the further questioning of these people. But uh, uh, Vakas is a very uh, ex uh, expert in uh, explosive devices making and he being with the engineering student is being taken that he and there was uh, around 50 uh, kgs of explosive which has been recovered uh, from Vakas as well so there was a big planning going on what uh, uh, and uh, sources in the security agencies are telling us and uh, what we are learning from Maharashtra ATS that they will be demanding custody of Vakas once the questioning by the uh, NIA and the uh, Rajasthan police is done because he is also uh, wanted accused in the Pune bomb blast and the Mumbai bomb blast as well and uh, yes uh, last year in September we showed a uh, CCTV footage of Vakas how he was, uh, uh, he was he planted a bomb in the uh, Mumbai bomb blast which took place in 2011 at the Zaveri Bazaar and he was there present. And after the arrest of Yasin Bhatkal and his company uh, uh, Haddi, uh, yeah, Vakas was seen as the prime uh, person who was handling the whole Indian module of Indian Mujahideen. Uh, so it is being seen as a vital arrest uh, by the security agencies and Maharashtra ATS is also uh, keeping a track on what exactly is being revealed uh, by Vakas and the other people arrested in this case. Back to you. Vikas, thank you so much for joining us live on that big story. Meanwhile, the Home Minister Sushil Kumar Shinde has spoken exclusively to headlines today after the big terror catch. He has confirmed the arrest, saying that the Delhi Police and Rajasthan Police jointly conducted the operation and that Vakas is involved in several terror activities.